Hi guys, it's Marianne the Frugal Chef. There's a game going around with the uh, YouTube cooks and we're tagging each other to show what's in our pantry and fridge. Well, I got tagged. I got tagged by Steve at Steve's Cooking and by uh, Leela at Asian Cooking Made Easy. Um, so I went and I made all this little movie for you guys and it's so long that even I was bored editing it. I can't imagine how bored you'd be. <laughs> so. I decided I'm just going to show you what's in my fridge so that we can keep it under 10 minutes. Um, so here we go. Here's what's in my fridge. This is my fruit rack. Um, a lot of my fruit I put in the fridge, but this is a uh, passion fruit, maracuya. We make juice out of this. It is good stuff. Uh, I think I might make a, a little video for you and show you, you know, what it looks like from the inside and how to use it. I have uh, some limes, some tangerines, a nice big papaya. Those are cheap here and they're nice and big. Let's see. We have some bananas, green apples, red apples, couple mangoes, and some avocado. Couple avocado. At my windowsill, I have some nice green parsley, and a, it's just in a jar with water. And I have some celery. Stocks with their leaves, same thing, in some water. Cooking a bunch of stuff today, so I have some tomatillos right there. We're gonna make some salsa. Here's some leeks. We're gonna, I'm gonna make a shrimp bisque. Artichokes, ah, they're in season. I love artichokes. So do the kids, so I just boil them, and when they come back from school, that's a great snack. Some of our ingredients for our mole, some raisins and almonds. Here's my tomatoes on the counter. We got some cherry tomatoes here. I'm going to make a fresh tomato salsa with capers today for the kids' lunch. Um, I'm making some breaded chicken milanesas and, you know, the, we're going to top it with the salsa. That's what I'm sending for lunch. Okay, let's check the fridge. We have some Parmesan cheese, some unsalted butter, block of cheddar cheese, some ricotta cheese, and I have these are little tiny chilies. They're called ulupicas. They will make you see your dead, you know, great grandparents. They're super spicy. Uh, we have some red rice uh, vinegar, some sesame oil. This is evaporated milk. I use it in my coffee. Just one percent milk and a peach light yogurt. Down here, soy sauce, some cream, ketchup, some uh, dark soy sauce. Worcestershire sauce, oyster sauce, and my capers in our tiny vegetable drawer. <laughs> Some cilantro that I just bought. Uh, sage. Fresh basil. Some carrots. Let's see, we got a ton of scallions. Uh, we have some green beans, some fresh thyme. These are the locotos, which are our local chili pepper. They're called rocotos with an R in Peru. Uh, some cucumbers. This is uh, ginger root and some bell peppers. All right, this shelf. You know, fruit is a big thing in our house. My kids love fruit. They eat it instead of cookies which is good <laughs> so for after school I always have good fruit and snacks for them but we have some peaches here we have some beautiful apricots look at that yum uh, cherries they're in season now these aren't as sweet as the cherries in the states but hey they're still cherries and they're good we have some beautiful strawberries there Got a couple bags of romaine hearts. This is how they sell it here, and I always buy uh, this kind. It's a little more expensive, but you know what? It's irrigated with pure, clean water. And that's really important here because if you're not used to the cooties, oh boy, you can have some serious stomach issues. My fridge is little, but it holds a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is a, an artisanal uh, white cheese they make here. It's excellent for frying. I love it. It doesn't melt and it's not very salty. Uh, we have some Philadelphia cream cheese. This is some hummus I made yesterday. Uh, 
some heavy cream, some tortillas, some more tortillas, uh, some vegetable shortening, mayonnaise, cheese, this is chicken bologna, and some more, uh, and some more sandwich cheese, and of course, two bottles of cerveza bien fría, <laughs> cold beer. Okay, let's see. We have some uh, sun-dried tomatoes and olive oil in here. I have some, these, these are olives that are filled with that chili pepper I showed you at the bottom. They're super, super spicy and absolutely delicious. I have regular, just, you know, plain green olives there. Uh, some tahine. Mustard. Spicy chili sauce. Ah, these are pickled uh, tiny mushrooms. I found them at the market the other day, and pff, yeah, I love this stuff. So every time I can find it, I make it. There's a video on that, actually. Uh, cher uh, strawberry marmalade, Creole, mus Creole mustard, uh, Old El Paso taco sauce. This is a uh, raspberry jam, and some pickles. Finally, we have some uh, soy ginger vinaigrette in here. I'm uh, recycling my jars, like I suggested we all do. Uh, this is some uh, spicy tomato chipotle salsa, our absolute favorite. Also have a uh, video on that. Some hoisin sauce, some uh, wonton wrappers, cherry marmalade, horseradish sauce, a block of mozzarella cheese, this is condensed milk. Uh, we have some uh, spicy garlic sauce back there. And some extra hot Chinese mustard. All right, that completes our little tour of my fridge. Let's look at the freezer. All right, let's check the freezer. Frozen raspberries, frozen blackberries, unsalted butter, puff pastry, and frozen cranberries. Bunch of uh, ice packs there for kids' lunch boxes. I have a ton of butter, guys, because I'm making a bunch of cookies. So we got six more packs of butter, and, you know, we got some chicken breast. This is uh, leftover beef from the tamales we made. So that's frozen. This is some of the French onion soup, which I had left over, which I froze. Just some beef, ice, and a big stash of organic dark chocolate. Yeah, uh, um... So now that you've seen what's in my fridge, I'm going to tag Noreen at Atticus9799 and I'm going to tag Dan at Smoky Goodness um, and Rick at the Little Blog. I'm going to put their links at the bottom here and let's see if they play.